This is Eugene Panarkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo N21 Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo N21 Chromebook. Uh, before we start, a couple of things we need to go over. First, I have to make sure that the laptop is turned off. This one does not have a removable battery, so uh, if it is turned on, you use the software to shut it down, or if it turns on during the procedure, you use a long press of the power button to turn off. You know, press this button for three or four seconds until it turns off. The second thing is to identify the model number. On the palm rest, there will be a label that will say Lenovo N21 Chromebook, or also on the bottom, on the label, they will say Lenovo N21 Chromebook. Okay, once we do that, let's go over the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to be used as a prying tool, manipulate any cables or remove any screws that may be stuck. And finally, we have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end, and that's to remove screw covers and to lift up adhesive tape. So the first thing we need to remove do is to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, and it's secured by six screws, four at the top and two at the bottom. And also there's two screw covers here, but there's no screws behind here, so you can leave those alone. So we just gotta remove these six screws. And in order to remove those, we have to remove the screw covers. And to do that, we use our hobby knife to lift up the screw covers and put them alongside the screw opening so we don't lose them. And go around the whole laptop just like this. And remove all six. Once we do that, we use our screwdriver to remove the six screws. And for each step, for each set of screws, we start a separate pile so we know which screws go where when we put the laptop back together again. Okay, and that's three, four, five, and six. Okay, next step is to snap off the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And to do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift the screen bezel up and out. And you know, like in this way, go around the whole screen assembly to snap off the screen bezel. On the bottom there will be some adhesive, so you gently lift up the screen bezel to remove the adhesive and the screen bezel comes off and we put it to the side. Once we do that, the screen assembly is exposed and in order to remove the screen from the screen assembly, we remove four screws, two at the top, or two on the top side and two on the bottom sides. So let's get a better angle. So there's one, two, three, and four. When we do this, we want the screen tilted back a little bit. That way the screen doesn't fall forward on you when we remove all of the screws. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. Once we remove the screws, we grab our, we grab the screen by the sides and gently lay it down so we can take a look. For this screen, there's only one connector at the bottom, and we have to remove this connector. And to do that, we have to use our hobby knife to lift up the adhesive tape on the bottom. So find a corner to lift up, and once you have enough to grab with your fingernails or with the fingertips. 
gently lift it up, try not to lift up the black tape on the bottom. Okay, once you pull the adhesive tape back, you can grab the connector by the back and gently pull it out like so. I'm going to put it in again to show you how to connect it properly. To put it in again, you slide it back in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Okay, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. And the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So let's pull the connector out again and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP slim screen with a matte finish. So you can see that there's different screens have different finishes. This one is matte, sometimes you get a glossy finish. And the other thing that I see here is there's a metal bracket on the top of the screen that's uh, not a part of the screen itself, it's part of the laptop. So we want, what we want to do is lift up and remove this metal bracket. Being careful not to bend it. And we'll reconnect it to the new screen. Okay, so the metal bracket is removed. Let's take a look at the part number for this screen. This is the part number you need when ordering it. It's D116XTN02.3. That's the part number you need. Okay, when you do, when the screen does come in, the, this part number, part number will most likely be different. It'll be a different part number, but the screen will look exactly the same. Uh, you can order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. We guarantee that the screen is compatible or we'll send you the right one. This exact same toolkit that we used in this video comes for free with the screen. We ship the screen for free using priority mail in the United States, and if you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure. We also have a two-year warranty on the screen and free email technical support. Uh, also, a lot of schools are using these screens, these laptops for their one-on-one -on -one program for the students. Uh, we work with school districts all over the country, and we do offer volume discounts for school district and extra support for school districts. So uh, if you are working for a school district, uh, go to our website. There's a link at the top that says school districts and then there'll be instructions there how to contact with us and how to work with us. Okay, uh, to order the screen from Screen Surgeons online, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There'll be a short form for you to fill out and that'll guide you to buy the right screen online. All right, once you do get the screen in, uh, first thing is make sure it looks the same and the connector is the same size. Then put this metal bracket on top with the adhesive that's already in place. Mount the screen in the screen assembly, or before that, reconnect the connector as, as showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom and then snap on the screen bezel, put the six screws on securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly, and then put the screw covers back on, and that should be it. Okay, um, that's it, we're done. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich, I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.